Good morning everybody and welcome to another vlog. So the day that you're seeing this is the Wednesday after Christmas. So first off, I just want to say that I hope you guys had a really great Christmas no matter where you were, no matter what your circumstance was, if you were able to get together with your family or not. I just hope that you guys had a good time. That being said, my plans for Christmas also changed a lot last minute. So I was originally gonna meet my family in England and then that got canceled because of COVID. And then we had um, a Christmas in Germany with my German family and you know what? It was great. I, I really loved being there and it was so much fun. And looking back, I do think that it was the right decision for us to stay home and to not go to England because, I don't know, it just would have been too high of a risk. And we just, you know, that's just that. So we've had a really late start to the day. We drove home from my in-laws late last night. We got here around like 11 or so. Um, I slept in until 10 o'clock which is quite a bit for me. And then I did my workout and showered. I started a load of laundry that you might be able to hear. And I'm just now on my first cup of coffee. So it is definitely a late start to the day because it's already noon. So, so far today, I've just been like tidying up our house a little bit because we brought um, quite a bit of stuff back with us. And then also when we left, the house wasn't like totally clean like we started the dishwasher before we left so at least we had like a full load of clean dishes but there's still all of the other dishes that have to get washed by hand and i don't really know why we chose to do this but we wanted to get like all wooden utensils and all of those have to be washed by hand all of our knives has to get washed by hand and pretty much our pots too we have a big cast iron um, like Le Creuset pot and that has to get washed by hand and then we also have a big skillet and then it just kind of like piles up if you don't stay on top of it. So tidying up and doing basic chores is what I'm going to be doing today off camera. But I did want to share with you guys uh, the meal that I'm going to be making today because first off it's really cold outside and secondly I also feel like I want to eat really healthy today because, I mean, we just came back from Christmas, so it was not the most healthy. So when I want those two things put together, um, when I want to eat healthy and I want to eat something warm, then I always gravitate towards a soup and like a vegetable based soup with beans, kind of like a minestrone me. Is that what it's called? I think so. Lots of vegetables and beans for some healthy fibers and proteins. And oh, I'm gonna make that today and I'm honestly so excited to eat it because I love soup. Before we make that though, I do wanna show you guys the ornaments that we got from a family member over the holidays, which I know Christmas is over, but technically, I mean, we're gonna have our tree up after New Year's anyways, so we thought, heck, why not just put the ornaments on late? Better late than never. What's the saying? Um, I can't remember. <laughs> anyways. So these are some of the ornaments that we took. So just a classic red um, ornament. And then just a couple of these ones that we took. So three of these ones, which are kind of like a gold, uh, I don't even know, it's like a laser cut gold metal foil thing, but they're really pretty. I really like these ones. Um, we have three of those, and we also have two of these clear glass ones, which are interesting because, look at that, it's an ornament with a little gold figure inside. Here, now you can see it better. So we just took a couple of these ones. Um, yeah, and I think they're gonna be really cute.
Alright, so it's been about an hour that the soup has been just lightly bubbling and it's almost done now but in the meantime when it was cooking I was continuing to read my book. I have made it a goal of mine to finish this book by the end of January and if I do that I need to read about seven pages a day which is a lot for me. Usually I'll read like two pages, maybe like four pages. Seven pages is a lot but I really want to get through this because it'll mean so much for my German level that I think it's a really good idea to like really focus on this right now. Here is our soup so far. And then I also made some noodles with it just to make it like a little more filling just because it is a more vegetable based soup. Um, but something I've learned is to cook the noodles separate from the soup, otherwise the noodles will just soak up all of the broth. And this is just tasty vegetable soup with some kidney beans in it. morning it's the next day and we are starting our day with a nice walk outside it's kind of warm it's like seven degrees this morning um a little rainy but i think it's stopped now so i'm just really excited to go for a walk lately i've just been loving going for walks <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do to do this time of year is to make a to-do list and not just your average I need to do the laundry today kind of to-do list but like a bigger and more fun to-do list with like simpler things in it so things like baking a cake going skiing I mean okay going skiing can be kind of expensive for some people um okay going for a hike going for a walk just really simple things that aren't as intense as a new year's resolution plan or a new big set of goals this is something that's more manageable and also smaller and just like small very specific things that i would like to do throughout the next year so i've actually been doing this for a few years now and it's just a really fun activity to do at this time of year because I'll get to look at the list that I made for the previous year, see what I got to do, see what I didn't get to do, and kind of reassess if my interests have changed. And it's just like kind of a fun self-evaluation thing to do at the end of the year while making a list of fun things to do throughout the year. But this is a list that when I'm bored, I can look at it and see, okay, well, at the beginning of the year, what are some things that I wanted to do? And now that I'm not really in the mood for anything or I'm really bored, maybe I can do something from this list. That's what I'm gonna do today, make my little list. Usually I write it in a book, but this year I'm going to just write it on a piece of paper and then I can actually put it up in my room so I can actually like look at it more regularly because in the past I've written down my list in the book and then I don't look at that list again until the next year when I'm making my new list and then I go through and see okay what have I done but this way I think I'll actually do the things that I want to do in the list. So another thing that's important that I do on the list is 
instead of just like writing one, two, three, four, I do like little circles or squares or something so that when I finish that thing, I can cross it off to say that I have done it in case I forget at the end of the year. So number one, the thing that I wanna do is go snowboarding. When I was a kid and a teenager, me and my family would literally go to the ski hill almost every single weekend. It was insane. And I haven't gone skiing in a few years now and I'm longing for it. The next thing that I wrote down is to visit Canada um, because that's something I wanna do every year. We're hoping, we're hoping that next Christmas we we'll be able to spend that time in Canada. Fingers crossed. Uh, someone just rang our bell and I had to run down. And then it was a delivery and I missed it. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna write down is to grow my own cucumbers. So last year in Germany was actually a really cold and pretty rainy summer. You would have heard about the floods that happened in Germany and Belgium. And it was also like, it was just rainy everywhere in Germany. So a lot of the vegetables that we were growing on our balcony were kind of slowed down a lot because it wasn't very warm. And before we went to Canada in the summertime last year, I wasn't able to eat one of my own cucumbers. So this year, we are I don't think we're gonna be going away for summer. So I definitely want to grow cucumbers again and actually taste my own. <laughs> and I'm just gonna totally fill up this page um, as full as it can be. I also do like to look on Pinterest and stuff for inspiration. Uh, so yeah, I'll get back to you guys when I have filled this all out. All right, so this is what I have so far. I just did like one column. Uh, things like buy good matcha, go to the farmer's market, finish my novel in German, start reading a German Bible, go backpacking in Switzerland, drink a kombucha. <laughs> so, I mean, you can make them as complicated or as simple as you like, but I mean, this is... This is just a fun thing I like to do around this time of year. And probably for the rest of the day and in the next few days when I get an idea, then I'll write it down. And I also like to leave a little bit of space in case, you know, maybe next month I'll think of something and I'll just add it to the list. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more content. And I will see you guys in the next one on New Year's Day. Stay tuned for that and see you then. Bye.